inverse variations, it is represented by y is equal to k times 1 over x or simply y is equal to k over x. This tells us that the relationship of the two quantities x and y has an opposite effect. If the value of x increases, the value of y decreases. But if the value of y decreases, the value of y increases. Okay, so let's start this lesson by uh, translating a word, sent, uh, mathemat I mean a verbal sentence into a mathematical sentence. So given y varies inversely as x, it is translated as y is equal to k over x. So y here and the x are the two quantities. Then our k here is the constant. For the given number 2, m varies indirectly as n. So that is translated as m is equal to k over n. So we will always get the, uh, the inverse or the reciprocal of the second quantity. Okay, so for number 3, the number of time you stayed at home varies inversely as the rate of the COVID infections to spread. Okay, so the two quantities here are the number of time staying at home and the rate of COVID infections to spread. So it is represented by S and C. So S is equal to the reciprocal of C, and that is 1 over C. Then K is in the numerator, which is the constant. Number four, the number of days needed in repairing the house varies inversely as the number of men working. So in this case, wherein a variable is not given, you can think of any letter in the English alphabet, except k, because k is used as a constant. So the first uh, quantity here is the number of days. Then the second quantity here is the number of men working. So d is equal to k over m. So the number of days is equal to the constant over the number of men working. Okay, so how do we solve an inverse variation problem? So take this given, what if y varies inversely with x and y is equal to 8 when x is equal to 3. Question, find y when x is equal to 6. So it is the same setup with the direct variations that we learned in our previous lesson. So first, we're going to set up a variation. And uh, we'll write y here, varies inversely. So that is equal to, expectedly, we're going to get the reciprocal of the uh, the other quantity, which is x, and that is 1 over x. And our constant is either in here or on the uh, numerator. And that is our uh, variation, y is equal to k over x. Step 2, we're going to find this k, the constant. So we need to replace this x and y. Since we have a set of given here, which is complete, x is equal to 3, y becomes 8. So we're going to use this. Uh, values of x and y, and we will replace it in the same variation. So y is 8, x is 3. Then we want to isolate k. We'll just simply divide both, uh, multiply both sides by 3, so that this 3 here is uh, cancelled. x is left, and 8 times 3 is 24, so our k is 24. Then finally, we cannot find the unknown y, given x is equal to 6. So we will use the same variation, then uh, replace k with 24 and x with 6, then solve the equation, 24 divided by 6, and that is 4. And that is the value of our unknown. For given number 2, d varies inversely as m. If d is 15, m is 2. The question is, find m when d is equal to 6. So same process, set up a variation, and our variation is d is equal to, expect a fraction, because we're going to take the reciprocal of the other quantity, which is m, so it becomes 1 over m, and numerator here, the k, 1 times k is k. So that is our uh, variation, d is equal to k over m. Then we'll use this variation to get the k. That's our step two. So we will just replace the uh, set of given wherein d is 15 when m is 2. So replace d by 15, m by 2. Then let us solve k by multiplying each side of the equations by 2. So that uh, k is isolated. Then the other side, 2 times 15, it's 30. That's how easy. Then finally, 
we're going to find the unknown. And to find the unknown, we will use the same variation. And since k now is given, we'll just replace this k by uh, 30. Then in our given here, d, that is 6 for us to find this m. So replace our d with 6. Then let us solve this m. But since our m is in the denominator, we can simplify this by multiplying each side by m. So actually, it is just the same with transposing uh, uh, m to the other side and this d to the other side. So that our equation will be simplified and it becomes 6 times m, 6m. Since uh, on the other side, m is eliminated, so 30 is left. So it becomes 6m equals 30. And finally, to isolate m, divide both sides by 6. So m is left here, then 30 divided by 6, that is 5. Okay, so let us now apply these skills in solving and translating in a certain word problem. Okay, the number of days needed in repairing a house varies inversely as the number of men working. If it takes 15 days for two men to repair the house, how many men are needed to complete the job in six days? Okay, so same uh, set up, we're going to apply the skills that we've learned a while ago, set up a variation. So since it is an inverse variation, so let us identify where is our first quantity here. So it is the number of days. So we can use uh, letter D to represent the number of days, then varies inversely. Then our other quantity here is the number of men. So we can use letter M. Since it is an inverse uh, variation, I expect a vinculum, this one, the fraction bar over M. Then in the numerator, it is the constant K. So that is our variation. Or you can use any variable you want. You can use Y is equal to K over X. It's up to you. Okay. So next, after setting up a variation, we will use this variation to find the constant k. So since uh, we have our given, but it is good if we're going to lay down our given here. So we have here the number of days with the number of men. And another number of days and another set for the number of men. Okay. In here, so it takes 15 days. for two men, for them, to do the job. But our question here is, the owner wants it to be completed in six days. It's in here. The question is, how many men should the owner hire so that uh, the job will be completed in six days? So that's our problem, to find this M. Okay, so first we're going to find the K using this one. Okay, so we'll just replace D by 15 and M by 2. Then we want to isolate K, multiply both sides by 2 so that uh, K is left on this side and on the other side 15 times 2, 30. So we already have our uh, K. So next, uh, finally, we will use the same variation to find what is asked, which is the number of men. So we will just simply replace k by 30. Then our d here is 6. Okay, then to find m, we want to simplify this first because our m is in the denominator. So we can multiply each side by m. Then, uh, no, not that one, this one. So. Uh, m times 6, that is 6m, then 30 is left here, then finally divide both sides by uh, 6, so that m is isolated here, 30 divided by 6 is 5. So for our, uh, since it is a word problem, our answer is written in this way. How many men are needed to complete the job in 6 days? It takes 5 men to complete the job in 6 days. 